that's the main concern, really, this, this new variant. But for, for weeks now, we've seen the number of positive coronavirus cases increase, and today the UK has hit a record high. The latest government figures show us that the UK has recorded 36,804 new cases within the past 24 hours. There have also been 691 deaths. These are deaths which have occurred within 28 days of testing positive for the virus, and that brings the total number of deaths to 68,307. But there's growing concern, though, that this new variant of COVID-19 appears to be causing this increase in case numbers, and that's why these stringent measures have been placed upon London and the southeast in the hope that this virus doesn't spread towards the, vi the, towards the wider regions. But there have been questions raised about the newly approved Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine, and, and is this effective against the new variants? Well, the chief executive of BioNTech has said that he has scientific confidence that the immune response produced by this vaccine will be effective against the new variants, but he needs to analyze this data further. So the likelihood that our vaccine work, as I said, is is, is relatively high um, because even though there are multiple mutations, uh, there are um, there are much more sites which are not mutated. We had already an, a look into, for example, the sites uh, in the virus which are recognized by by T cells, and most of the sites which are recognized by T cell T cell responses are still conserved in this new virus variant. So that makes us confident. That, that the T cell response works and multiple antibody binding region, regions are also also conserved. But as already already mentioned, we need to do the experiments to quantify how well this uh, this um, the, our vaccine works against this new variant. He also gave reassurances that if the vaccine needs to be adjusted, it can be done so within six weeks' time. But it's a sharp and dramatic increase in case numbers that we've seen today. Although we've had that usual catch-up in the numbers, it really is a stark figure.